Yay! Yay. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Good morning, it is guys. Saturday. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Jill. <laughs> it's Saturday, and I'm hanging out with my favorite ladies. Hey guys, I'm in another sweatsuit on the weekend. Loving it. Yeah, but you got a You look gorgeous. Scarf. Look at that scarf with the sweatsuit. The scarf is so that you can't tell I'm not wearing a bra when I get on the elevator. Yeezy season <laughs> four though. Look, you literally look like Kanye West collections. I am Kanye West collection. Post-apocalyptic glam though. <laughs> Hi, Mama. Jill. You haven't been in the vlog in a little bit. I know. Hi. You're so pretty, mom. Oh, thanks. I love that sweater. I know people are gonna ask. It's from because I asked mom. It's a It's adorable. It's cute. Mm -hmm. I've had it for a while, but I love it. I, I love the hood. I'm excited to come and hang out with you and Morris tomorrow. Yay! Yay! Yay. And someone's happy because he has all his ladies here. Hi, bear. Ah! He's so good. We're showing mom Hillary's oh, I'm twin, I'm Angela. Doppelganger. Yeah, it's scary, eh? Isn't it great? Yeah. Twinsies, though. From Gio. You're welcome. I pick up the scraps. Yeah, they're taking my magazines and going. Bye, Hill. I got a ton of Dateline lined up. Bye, Don't mom. watch alone. Hashtag. I've got my new Charles Manson podcast. Thank oh my god. Yeah, I recommended one. I'm it's ready to oh, you're have ready a for great a hot weekend. Ready for a hot time. Oh, I love you guys. Love Thanks you. for coming to hang out. I'll see you, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I feel like if I was like one of the Charles Manson people, like I would have been like his main chick. I would have been like the like at the top of the hierarchy. I've been like his queen. Guys, I'm just hanging out watching YouTube videos and I thought I would talk to you guys because I went to see a movie last night. I went to see Zootopia and I had really, really been looking forward to it. I thought it was going to be incredible and like, no though. It was, I mean, it was pretty, it was entertaining and stuff, but I don't know, just like not one of my favorites. I really like the message behind it. I think it's like, from a social and political point of view, a really great message. I think it has a lot of things to say about like, you know, trying to dispel prejudices and judging people by the like, content of their character and all that. Like, that I loved, but I just wasn't as entertained as I would have wanted to be. The sun is going down. I don't know what I'm going to get up to tonight. I think Stevie said she's gonna call me in a little bit. I was like, maybe I'll go out to H&M Home because I've been meaning to go. But I've also just been really loving like laying in bed and watching YouTube videos. And sometimes that's just like a lot of fun. And it's cool because I know when I talk to you guys about like YouTube stuff like this, like you relate because clearly you're people who love also love to like sit and watch YouTube videos. And I'm just like, catching up with all my faves so yeah lazy saturday but happy saturday it'll be good because i'm getting out to see my mom and stuff tomorrow but it's nice to have some more relaxed time and just like chill out guys look at the light the city's beautiful hey guys <laughs> guess who came over stevie did we're hanging out Hi in PJs, just like we did when we were teenagers. P.S. Stevie and I met when we were 15. Aww. We had a mutual friend who told each of us that the other <laughs> disliked them so that we wouldn't become friends. And then we did become like BFFs. And the rest is history. Mm -hmm. But Stevie's known me since I was 15 years old. So it's fun because when we hang out, it's like we're 15 again. I know. And we, I guess I share a special place in your heart because you lent me your mini onesie. You though. do. Isn't it adorable? It is. It's super comfortable. There was an Instagram post. The Kardashian girls have them. Oh, shit. It's like <laughs> styling. Like, no big deal. Just being Minnie Mouse. <laughs> Hillary was like... Perk up the ears, you look sad in that. <laughs> you do not want sad ears in this. Hillary's so cruel. <laughs> I'm trying to think back to what we were like when we were 15. Probably exactly like we're, we are now. 
Yeah, except we just spent time like watching YouTube videos instead of watching Gigi for the hundredth <laughs> time. We were obsessed with Gigi and Beauty and the Beast. We would cut and class Care and watch Bears. Care Bears. <laughs> <laughs> we would cut class, hang out at my house, and watch Care Bears and Beauty and the Beast. But we both, we still got good grades. Yeah, we so. got really good grades. So yeah, we could, it was, you know, we could do that. Be smart and then just like. <laughs> we probably should not have done that, but. You learn an important life, life lesson though. Like we learn to like work the system, <laughs> which is a lot more valuable than learning to do every little thing that everyone tells you all the time. True. <laughs> and sometimes you just need to watch Care Bears. <laughs> Kids all learn at different paces and Stevie and I were quick learners so we got mm -hmm. bored. But yeah, we did like drama class, so that was something. Yeah, I love drama class. That's where we met. In grade nine drama class. And mm -hmm. it's funny because people sometimes, sometimes you guys leave me comments asking about like high school questions or whatever. And I had a wonderful high school experience because of Stevie. Aww. If you take Stevie out of the equation, high school would have been like a miserable time. But oh, I feel like- it was the same for me. Yeah, after we really became friends in grade 10. So each of us found our other person and then we were just fine. And we kind of knew it was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> I mean, don't take it seriously. No. Like if you're in high school, don't worry about it. Take your grades seriously enough to get into a good college or university, but and the, that's about it. Yeah, the, the social, social stuff, element of yeah. it is ridiculous. Don't and we worry. knew at the time it was ridiculous. Yeah. We would get invited to parties and stay in and watch like Saturday Night Live. Because oh, we were yeah. like, what's going to happen at this yeah. party? Nothing. Nothing happens. It's, it was always like a group of guys like trying out their music. Yeah. <laughs> And you're like, oh, okay. And you're like, oh my God, that's Stairway to Heaven. I love that. Like, <laughs> no, no. Anyway, this is Saturday night of this weekend. Yes. And I wouldn't spend it any other way. Me neither. Yay. Yay. <laughs> All right, guys. Stevie hasn't used Periscope before, so we're going to hop on Periscope. Yay! I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. I don't really still know what it is. It's just easier to show, so yeah. we're gonna hop on Periscope. I'm like, we just answer questions? Yeah. Okay. And you talk to people and stuff, and you ask them questions, and you see, like, their chat Like, bubbles. live? Yeah. Oh, crazy. Yeah. Technology, Oh, though. my God. How's my hair? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> the joke I mean, is that it's like <laughs> we haven't cared about that in years. I'm in a mini onesie. <laughs> we just periscoped. We did. What did you think of it? I really liked it. Isn't it fun? I feel like I could become addicted to that though, because it's like you're just having conversations with people. Yeah. It's so easy, and everyone was like, everyone was just sending a bunch of hearts. So yeah, I mean, and also like, saying stuff that's like, this funny. is a space of love. It's true. I love Periscope. Anyway, it was fun to like share it, and it was extra fun to jump on Periscope with Stevie. Yay! Yeah. I might just start a scope. Though. Start a scope myself. Start a Periscope though. Anyway. We're just hanging out. This is gonna be like the rest of this evening. Yeah. It's just like hanging out, talking. I wish I could Wearing say eating, but I don't have any candy. I want Easter candy. Oh, I've been I... doing really well on my diet and tonight I was like, that's it, I'm having Swiss Chalet. And now I'm like, tomorrow I want mini eggs. I could murder a Cadbury cream egg right now. Or like several. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. Hey guys, it's the okay. day after the time change, so I'm just feeling like tired. a little bit tired. Little We've bit just tired. spent the day hanging out with mom and Morris hanging out. in the house. I love being here, it's so cute. This is the same couch we had in our living room growing up, except it used to have a fabric on it that looked like pot leaves, but mom was too square to know I didn't that know. it looked like it until we got it home and people were like, whoa, your mom's cool. And it's like, not no. as cool as you think. Yeah, don't anyway. just ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're just hanging out here in the kitchen. I love this kitchen. It is gorgeous. It makes me feel like I'm in the house from Twilight. Yeah. Did you ever see Twilight? No. There's a beautiful modern house in Twilight that you would like. And it has a garage with all like built-in cubbies and stuff. That's all like, Vital. mom. Vital. Okay guys, mom's had enough. I'll see you back at the house. 
And so we reached the end of another weekend. I just got home. Mom and, or actually, more stayed back because he was having like, a little nap. But mom drove me and we stopped in at Loblaws, which is a grocery store here. And I'll show you guys a little mini haul of what I got. I stopped in for magazines, etc. So I got the New York Magazine, all about single women and how they're the most potent political force in America right now. Woo! <laughs> I got the new town and country, or it's not like brand new, but it's the newest one and it has Tina Fey on the cover. I got the new People, which I love because I just love People. I feel like they're not the first to print celebrity news, but that by the time they print something, it's usually the truth. And I got what is quickly becoming like my favorite monthly magazine, I would say, which is Allure because it's all about beauty and I just love it. Louis, shut up. He's drinking. Anyway, I also got a couple of little essentials. I got some Tylenol cold because I am just feeling a little bit run down and I feel like a cold is coming. I got Method Hand Soap. We don't have Target here anymore, but it's sold in Loblaws and Shoppers Drug Mart in Orange Ginger. And I think that'll just be like nice kitchen soap. And I got Reese's mini, e or not mini eggs, but like, you know, little Easter candies. Because like, I've been doing really well on my diet and tonight, I'm gonna live, guys. I have to give myself an opportunity to live. So anyway, that is the weekend. Again, it was another weekend that was pretty low key. I'm excited for when the weather gets really nice and I can start to like do more and bring you guys out and show you guys more of Toronto. Cause I know you like that and stuff. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what is one thing you are looking forward to this week. I wanna borrow some of y'all's positivity and think of things to be excited about. So whether there's something you're looking forward to or it's just something that just makes you happy when Fs, if it's freshly laundered sheets, whatever it is, let me know what's one thing you're looking forward to this week. Give this video a thumbs up because it tells YouTube that people liked this video and it's worth letting people know about. And yeah, that's it for this week. I will see you guys next weekend. Can't wait. Love you, bye though. Someone in my comments last week asked um, about these on my fridge and they are from a company called Sticky Nine. They do uh, stickers with magnets on them and they asked if I would uh, talk a little bit about what the photos are. So I thought that'd be cute.